In the previous video, we went through all the steps necessary to run Optimus. Now we'll create views to add DHX widgets, explore the global event bus for switching between the created views, and add the toolbar to easily navigate our app. Firstly, we'll create the view on the basis of the DHX toolbar widget to switch between the views in our app. For that, create the toolbar views JS file in the views folder and fill it with the following code. Here, we configure the DHX toolbar in the init method. The method returns the toolbar as a view. The toolbar contains two spacers and three buttons. Note that when you use the DHX widget as a view, you should specify the container where the component will be rendered to null. Now, let's create a child view. The component will render the current ID of the button selected in the toolbar. Navigate to the Views folder and create the empty viewed JS file with the following content. The child component will get the ID via params. To render the created empty view and toolbar view views, Update the top layout JS file with the following code. Here we return the layout as a view and place the empty view and toolbar view views into the cells of the layout. To render the views, we call the show method. However, if you run your app, you can notice that nothing happens when you switch the buttons in the toolbar. To solve this problem, we need to add global events. Subscribing to a global event allows tracking changes made in a component. You can register an event handler in the global event bus and define a function to be triggered when the event is fired. Adding global events is the best way to set up data exchange between the components. Open the toolbarview.js file and apply the ready method to add the click event handler of the toolbar. We define the global view change event inside the click event via the fire method. So whenever a user clicks the button in the toolbar, the view change event will fire. Now we need to update the top layout view where we'll listen to the view change event. We initialize the global view change event handler. Let's follow the changes in the global event bus. Each time a user clicks the button in the toolbar, the show method will re-render the empty view view and pass the ID of the selected button to it. Let's take a look at the result. In this video, we have learned how to create views using DHX Optimus and add a toolbar for quick navigation between views and explored how to use the global event bus. In the next video, we'll discuss how to observe changes made in our app.